Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony Couch here again, a guitarist on YouTube. And this channel has become a reaction channel. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Because you may have noticed, if you've been watching any of my videos recently, you may have noticed that I'm on a musical, magical, musical odyssey. Where I'm just trying to discover music, new music to me, you know, established musicians and that I've overlooked. But just to let you know that the eventual aim is is to not copy these <laughs> musicians, because I can't. Just ahead of me releasing music of my own, uh, which again will be documented all on YouTube, I'm just broadening my horizons and just seeing what else is out there. And hopefully the idea is to soak up some new ideas like a sponge. Be a thief, be a musical magpie which I've always endorsed. Listen to as much music as possible and steal it and then <laughs> claim it as your own. Influence, isn't it? It's the word influence. So I'm just searching for new influences. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm not a thief. So next in line had to be Sean Lane. I've had a lot of requests requesting Sean Lane. Uh, so I've gone on YouTube. I've got some screen capture software. Let's, let's just delve right in. The thing is that, at least with the other guitarists that I've been listening to, I've had an idea of what to expect. When it comes to Sean Lane, with all due respect, I'm sure he's an incredible guitarist and has got a massive fan base. I don't know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't name a Sean Lane song, I don't know the, the, his genre, but I am so looking forward to finding out. Okay, and you can see that I've chosen the track Grey Pianos Flying. So I'm going in, remember these aren't reviews, not who am I to review. I'm just, I'm just watching and talking about what I feel. Let's give it a go, I'm excited. Let's go full screen, full screen ahead. Okay, there's a, there's a lot going on in the rhythm section. It's like a, there's a subtle key change there. It's so busy, that backing. Okay, I, I would have liked to have seen his fingers for that lick just then. Okay, so it's calmed down a bit now, the backing. Improvised. So you can shred then. Okay, so there's the, that's the, this is the theme.
I want that last lick. How do I stop this? Go away. Go away. No idea what guitar that is. I can't read the headstock. I see the letter C. Shervel? Curvin? I, I, I apologise for the like 360p video here. Yeah. Uh, by the way, while I'm here, this is all on uh, my Sean Lane videos. So check out their channel and subscribe to support them because it won't be possible. Because this video won't be possible without that wonderful channel. <sighs> okay, well, my initial thoughts... Do you know what? Do you know what? My initial honest thoughts here uh, are that that one's going to take another few listens. It didn't immediately grab me, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to give up on it. Let's be honest, this kind of music, you can't listen to it passively. <laughs> and, and you can't pick everything up in one listen. So don't get me wrong when I say that though, I think that his playing was incredible. Because obviously the playing was incredible, you heard it. Presumably if you're watching this video, you're a fan of Sean Lane, so, so you know that this music is brilliant, but my initial impressions is that it was like a <laughs> I know it's good, and I know I'll get more into it, but for a first listen, there was a lot going on. All I can really do at this point in time is just comment on those crazy shred licks, that last one especially. Um, th there was another one in there, the big stretch one, uh, and then there was a, a few pentatonic things in it. It was varied playing, it was really varied playing. Not sure why why they decided to have live drums and live guitar, but then have everything else. Like all, all the synth parts and the bass, all on a backing track. There, there's obviously some reason for it. If this was on telly or something, might have been limitations for that production of that program, I don't know. But that seemed a bit odd. I, I, had I known, I'd probably seeked out a full band version if I could. So yeah, a player that I definitely would need to do my own work on. You can't just listen to that one once and call it a day and then go, yeah, like it, or no, don't like it. My initial impressions are that, yes, this looks like my kind of music. Sean Lane looks every bit the guitarist that, that I could get into, but as to how much I don't know, I'm going to have to listen to that one a few times, and I will, and I will. That's what this is all about. And that is my honest thoughts. My, my honest thoughts on listening to this is that good, liked it, requires more listening now. That was a busy song, that was a busy composition. But anyway, let me know what you think about Sean Lane. Uh, it's always interesting reading those comments. But anyway, I've been Anthony Coach. I've got some Sean Lane to listen to. So yeah, thank you very much. And if you've stumbled across this video uh, randomly, then why not consider subscribing? Because I do other videos like this, and then I do videos which aren't like this. And you can check out my channel to see what they are. Uh, but anyway, thanks very much. I've been Anthony Coach, and you are the best.